Hi everyone, welcome back to AR Study Desk. Hope you have watched the previous videos on projections of lines. Now, we shall directly move to the third question. A line AB, 35 mm long, is perpendicular to VP and parallel to HP. Draw the projection if the end B is 10 mm in front of VP, 15 mm above HP and the line lies in the first quadrant. Okay, so here the line is parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP. So let us see how the line is positioned with respect to HP and VP. So this is our line AB in which the end B is 10 mm in front of VP and 15 mm above HP. Okay. Now why this statement the line lies in the first quadrant is given in the question. It is because there is one more probability of drawing the same line satisfying all these conditions. Let us check out that. Let the end B be 10 mm in front of VP like this and 15 mm above HP like this. Okay. And I can draw this line BA such that it becomes parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP but not in this direction. What happens if I rotate this line AB 180 degrees about B? That means the end A will come in the second quadrant. So the line AB will be like this. A will be in the second quadrant, B will be here itself. B is 10 mm in front of VP and 15 mm above HP. At that time also, the line AB is parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP. Since that probability is there, this particular statement is given in the question. So the line can be only in the first quadrant. Okay. Now, this is the front view. In the front view, you know that this line will be seen as a point. Okay. But is it just a point? No. There is a line behind that. The point that you see nearer to you is A and the point which is behind A is B. So let us project this to VP. So if I project that to VP, I'll get a point there. So how should I name that? The point which is nearer to the observer. I will mark it first like A dash. Why A dash? Because it is the front view. And in brackets, I will mark B dash. Why? Because the point B is behind A. Is it clear? Now, the top view is projected onto the HP. So let us project that. When you project point A, you get small a. And when you project point B, you get small b. Joining A and B will give you the top view. Here, the line AB is parallel to HP. Which means that the top view length projected on HP will have the same length as that of the true length. So this top view will be having the same length as that of the true length. That is 35 mm. Hope it is clear. Now let us see how to draw this on a paper. So mark the scale and then the unit. First of all, you will be drawing the XY line. In the front view, you can see the line as a point A dash brackets B dash. Where is this point A dash brackets B dash? It is above XY line. It is 15 mm above HP. So this distance is 15. So you will mark the point A dash brackets B dash 15 mm above the XY line. In the top view, you can see the true length of this line, which is the top view length or the projection in the top view. And this line is perpendicular to our XY line. So you have to get the point B first. Where is point B? It is in front of VP. It is 10 mm in front of VP. So mark that point B 10 mm in front of VP. From B, draw a perpendicular line BA which represents the projection of the top view. And it will have the same length as that of the true length. That is 35 mm. Now, as we said before, when you are viewing the top view, Treat the XY line as VP. So, you can conclude that the line BA is perpendicular to VP. Hope it is clear. We shall discuss the next case in the next video. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.